Hello good people! We have another exciting tutorial for you today, as always, and this tutorial is going to be for our jailbroken users out there. I know my last two videos, including this one, have been for my jailbreak users, but next week I will have a more universal tutorial. So this mod, I guess you could call it, is for your lock screen and it displays the weather. Now I know that there are plenty of those out there, but what's unique about this one is that this one dis changes the lock screen background in relation to what the weather is. So for example, if it was raining, the lock screen would have a preset raining background, which is pretty cool. And I'm gonna see if I can pop that up right now for you guys. So I think it's really cool how the lock screen will change according to the weather. And as you guys can see right now on my screen, you guys can see that in Boston, it's 62 degrees Fahrenheit. It's mostly cloudy and windy, and you guys can tell that the picture of the sun is a has a picture of the sun with a cloud over it. And it also tells you the last time that it was updated, which was three minutes ago. Now, because I'm not that magical, I can't control the weather, so I can't show you guys what it would look like if it was raining, or if it was snowing, or if it was just windy on my iPod Touch right now. But right about here, I will show you guys some screenshots of what that would look like. So here they are. Alright guys, so I figured a question you would have, because there's not really such an easy way to use from the iPod Touch, and that's how to change the city. As you guys saw that, it says Boston. I'm going to show you guys how to change the city for your city right now. And... I will say that you will have to SSH this into your iPod Touch because this updated version is not in Cydia yet. There is a previous version, which I will put a link uh, to the repo, but right now the updated version is not in Cydia. You guys will have to SSH it in, and I'll show you and I'll give you guys a link um, where to SSH it in. So once you guys download it, you guys are going to want to right click Show Package Contents as you saw. You guys want to go into pr the folder that says Private, and you guys want to open up ConfigureMe.js. Now this is going to open up in dash code. If you guys don't have dash code, I suggest you guys install it. You guys can install that right off your um, installation disk, your operating system disk. Um, I'm not going to go too much detail into that. But as you guys can see right here, and I'm going to zoom in, right here you, ha you have these two purple things right here. This one is the zip code. This one is the city. All you guys have to do is just change the zip code and change the city. And there you guys go. Change that to whatever year is yours is, um, then save, and then SSH it in again. Um, also, there's you can also change it um, from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Right now, I have it on Fahrenheit. There's just little instructions right here that's highlighted that you guys can tell. Um, pretty much, if you guys want to mess around with the settings, they'll give you instructions on what you can change and how to change that. So that about does it for this video, guys. All the links that you will need will be in the right... Um, also, guys, follow me on Twitter for exclusive content, twitter.com slash Fisher12. And make sure to check out my website for the most amazing collection of iPod Touch slash iPhone and Mac wallpapers. Link will also be in the right. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and take care.